So the main problem I'm having is that the starter cord is not reeling back in. Hi guys, it's Jacob Walcott and here with an update on the power stroke. So I'm having some serious problem with the power stroke currently. My starter is not reeling back in. I took it out, tried to adjust, tried to spin, tried to take out the bolt to see the coil at the bottom and now we So the easiest thing to do is to spray it down, get a little toothbrush, old toothbrush of course, give most of the parts a little brushing. Alright, so I'm having some issues with the power stroke right now. The problem that I'm having is the starter. The starter string came out. So started the machine, the coil is not going back in. So I took it out to see what's the problem. Give the machine a little clean down as well as you guys can see. So basically the spraying the coil in there basically going through right. So, so I took off the cover, took off everything, give it a nice clean down, clean out the inside, put back in the air filter those things spray it down wipe it down and yeah just give it a full clean up by the time that's my boy bandit in the corner there um so i decided to make an update on it one time as well so i got a replacement part and i also have some good news for you all out there as well so you guys know how for the mori and the power stroke as well it's hard to get parts for it well, I actually found a spot, a store, that actually carries parts for the machine. It's called Dee's Lawnmower Shop. It's located in Aruka. You see right as soon as you pass the police station, like you head into Arima. As soon as you pass, I'm going to put up the contact. At the, by the end of the video, you'll get the contact and a picture of the location as well. So, when you pass... It's on your right hand side, right next to the pharmacy and there is where I got this replacement part. You all know I normally tell you all when something goes wrong with the machine, I just replace it with a new one. That was actually the plan but I still have one check out the place and to my surprise, I could have gotten everything. So to take out this and really install it, all I needed to get or to use sorry, is an Allen key set. So. I use my bicycle Allen key set. So these cannot actually be used in the new one, but I'll be using the same nuts that originally came with the machine to go back in. Um, before you place it back in, remember to put back on this piece, line it up, and then line it up the correct way as well here. So at this point you have to make sure that everything is lined up. So the nuts at the bottom and also to the top. So you're not screwing them in completely, you're just lining up the screws first. And now after all four are in place, then you go ahead and you tighten. And this is what I like about a machine, when you can pull it once and a gentle pull and it starts. Sorry. Off. On. Simple pull. This is one of my favorite things about a machine, even when you get this machine brand new out of the box or even after you service it 
Oh, as you guys saw, I now install this, and one of my favorite things is just to gently pull and it starts. Turn on the machine, pull softly. Off, on, gently pull. Off, turn on, gently pull. That's why I love this machine. Now install this new starter. And as I said to, the, to you guys, Hi right, guys, good night, good night. This video has been actually recorded four days after I recorded that video. Um, that purchase any part, install any part, I actually did that on a Saturday. A Saturday I went, I sourced the part, I installed it. Today is actually Wednesday. So for those who are actually watching this video now as I post it, it's the Wednesday. And as I said to you guys, I have some good news. This part was actually sourced by these on the main road on the right hand side after the police station. He actually carries a wide range of parts for these brush cutters. Um, if you have the Mori or the Power Stroke or any other brand, you could get the replacement head. Remember, before I told you guys about the universal head. So now there's more options. There's a place that's easy to find as well. And he has the part for only a hundred dollars so this is the universal head that i've been using for the past four to five years back in 2014 there's a big silver nut that normally goes here remember i told you guys when that nut is worn out you don't have to replace it and buy the next one basically for the past four years what i've been doing i've been using a pipe wrench to loosen and tighten it when i have to adjust so i normally go around with my machine and additional pipe wrench and while i was using the machine after i serviced it this big nut was damaged the treading basically went bad and i had to replace it and i took the one off of this new one and installed it on the machine and started back to cut so update again that is the only time basically after the past three years and five years of cutting grass that has went bad now so on the power stroke the nut has been well the treading from going on and off has <laughs> been damaged so i had to replace it other than that nothing since i installed this new part on the machine it has been starting with one pull and i have been able to continue cutting grass with no problem with no problem it works perfectly fine um in other news when it comes to the machine parts now has become easier to locate so no more stressing and saying that I have no parts I have also grouped all the videos into one location so whether you're browsing on your cell phone your laptop your desktop you need to go on to my youtube channel Jacob Walcott go over into videos and then into playlists and you will see a playlist called brush cutter so just scroll along you'll see family you'll see motorcycle whatever you are into any channel places to go click on which catalog and for y'all it will be brush cutters and you will actually see all the videos listed there from 2014 comfort unboxing the power stroke unboxing the murray i know some of those videos the quality will not be so good because back in the days on the kind of camera I have if you guys watch the changes video you will notice that I spoke about improved camera quality those kind of things so I have a new form with a decent camera quality that I'll be using to record videos now so that's what's new as well and for those when it comes to content the, the YouTube channel has many videos to offer so don't just check out the videos on the Wacker and if that is way into then I have a whole playlist on things and updates about all the brush cutters okay but you could find places to go things to do in trinidad what it's like riding a motorcycle in trinidad and tobago because in august well this month i actually have to make my update video telling you all what the first year of owning a motorcycle has been like because as you guys know i bought my motorcycle cash so i'm going to give you a breakdown of purchasing a motorcycle purchasing gears um the money that i spent in the past year in gas service and maintenance and those kind of things
and for those who are interested just two things are leaving you all with I get free gas every month and two for the first year I was purchasing gas and I did not cross a thousand dollars in gas I went Ikaka, Sejus, all over the place so if you think I don't ride the bike off then you're wrong so stay tuned to that video when it comes out um, I have a video coming out on my visit to the Pitch Lake and my visit to the Emperor Value Zoo that's two of the places that I took the MPL Maloney Public Library camp to for the summer vacation because as I told you guys we hold two camps every year at every public library so whether you're in a Rima, Separia, Point Fortin, your public library holds a camp every year for the children in the community and the price is, is ridiculously low um, we do field trips with them so every year you can get a camp either for the Easter vacation where they learn traditional kite making and those type of things and for the summer vacation for the July the libraries also hold a camp so two of my clippings will be from the field trips as I said the visit to the pitch lake you all could look at that video you will see me initially and Jonathan we do not well I do not show any pictures of clipping with the children so basically it will be clipped out videos of my experience and what I saw so there's no input with the children on those kind of things in the video you may hear one of them in the background because they say uncle I want to be on camera and as I tell them no I can't record y'all and put y'all on camera and for the children who are watching this thank you because some of those children are actually big fans they go up they go they watch my videos they say mommy daddy this is where uncle Jacob was and papa is this is from his videos and those kind of things Shout out to y'all Chelsea, shout out to Kiki, Kilana, y'all who always on the channel and those kind of things. So I'll shout out to y'all as well. These children actually sit down and watch Uncle Jacob's videos. So shout out to them. And for you guys, as I said, I have content for everybody. And stay tuned. There are other things. There are giveaways as well coming up. Um, check out my video, how you'll get free gas in Trinidad and Tobago because... I have been getting free gas, I've been getting free movie vouchers and as well. And I share the information, I'm not just keeping it to myself. So check out that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos.